Beats.com. All right, what's up, everyone? My name is Drop with Let It Drop Entertainment, and I've been thinking about doing this video for a little bit. Kind of wanted to go over the past six months going full time uh, DJing and paying for some advertising. I wanted to share my results. Hopefully, you know, other people in the community, DJ community, can get something from it. And, um, you know, I'm just here to help build everyone up and give back to the community because, you know, definitely it's, it's helped me out a lot as well. Uh, you know, I started DJing uh, way back in the day, maybe around 2005 or so, back in high school. First turntable was uh, Gemini, and then moved over to Techniques uh, after that. And I had the Vestex PDX 2000s for a while, had the Rain TTM 56 for a while. Uh, and, you know, I've always been into studio work. So engineering, mixing, mastering. Uh, I work with Pro Tools. I record a lot of people. Uh, people send me tracks to mix and master. That's kind of been my bread and butter for a long time. Um, I moved out from Massachusetts to here in Florida. Uh, I went to Full Sail back in 05 to 06 as well. And um, so I'm really into music, really into audio. Just want to use my skills to kind of give back to the community and show my experiences. Uh, when I was out here, I was actually working for Apple Care and worked in, up into management there and um, was doing that for like nine years. Recently got laid off back in August of 2003. So shortly after that, it was either, you know, find another corporate type of job, you know, manager type of job, or, you know, jump into my, my business full time, which I've always, I had always been doing on the side. Um, and so I was like, yes, it's, you know, I was like, yeah, it's, it's time now. So made some investments, bought some extra equipment. I already had some turntables. I already had uh, some Techniques MK5s and I already had bought the DJM S7, you know, a while back. And so I had been practicing with that for about a year or so uh, already before I made that investment. Come here, so. So yeah, after that investment, um, bought some lights, bought the speakers uh, and started paying for some advertising. And um, you know, it's, it's been kind of going ever since. So yeah, I pivoted over to weddings, went full time, made the full jump, had some investments, uh, you know, followed the blueprint from all the other awesome, uh, amazing DJs on YouTube, you know, took, took little bits, whatever I liked the most, and just tried to make it into my own style. Um, tried to capture the timelines, capture all the things that they were doing. Uh, you know, pictures were the biggest thing, the hardest thing at first. Shout out to both lighting for having the pictures uh that i was able to use and put right up on the websites and stuff and then i had some of my own older stuff that i was able to put up on there and you know i, I used chat gpt to write some copy did my best to, to make it my own as well and i was just trying to get started as fast as possible uh, i was already using honeybook so honeybook was something that i was familiar with so i just pivoted over made everything dj with honeybook uh hopped on vibo and vibo hooked me up with a lot of assets as well you know, I had videos and marketing materials. They even put my logos in it as well. Uh, and so, you know, it was off to the races. I was just out there making, uh, you know, making offers to people, trying to come up with the leads. Come on. So yeah, Vibo had a bunch of assets that I used. I had all my assets ready. Um, and it was time to set up the brochures, set up the proposals, finish up the website, um, and, you know, put all that together. Uh, and then I was ready to actually sign up for the ads. And the ads I started with was Wedding Pro. I figured that was the biggest one. If I was gonna do it, jumped right in for them. Uh, and I'll go over all the numbers and, and stuff like that in a second. I also signed up for the Bash. Um, I signed up for the Bark, uh, Yelp, Eventective, Google. All of these were places that you know I was actually able to generate business from. Um, Wedding Pro was a pretty good experience. You know, I met with their representative and they went over some numbers with me, you know, told them my budget, and they were able to, you know, keep going back and forth with their manager. You know, it's kind of like a car sales experience, uh, but it is what it is, you know, it's the nature of the beast. And, uh, you know, so play that game, got down to, uh, you know, a amount of month that I felt comfortable with, and, you know, let it roll, just kind of went from there. So after that, I signed up for the bash, um, and that was kind of just a one subscription, just paid it online for the whole year. Um, and then I started dabbling into Bark because it was really easy to look at the leads, 
you know, that's the thing with Bark is there's a lot of low quality stuff on there, but you know, I knew that there was going to be something. So I just took the, took the chance, you know, like that, this is what I was doing. I was going all in. So spent some money on Bark, uh, bought one of their half off packages and I uh, just started hitting people up, just started spraying out the advertisements, you know, and uh, sending emails, texting people, making phone calls, just, you know, if they were posting a lead, that means they were interested in getting something done. If they were contacting me on Wedding Pro, I would take that as legit as possible. I would start researching the venues so I can kind of get an idea of what was going on, where I would be, you know, already be informed while I was contacting them. And, um, so those were, those were pretty good. Uh, Yelp ended up giving me a free um, advertising credit, so I was able to do that. Again, started hitting that. Event Detective, I ended up putting a little bit of money into them. The same thing as the leads came in, just kept on consistently reaching out to them and you know following that blueprint, using my uh, brochure, sending that, sending out the um, you know pictures and just talking with people, trying to show them that I'm knowledgeable and I understand everything. Uh, and eventually it happened, you know, got, got the very first wedding gig uh, of the full-time business. And that was on October 8th, which was my birthday, which was crazy, you know, coincidence. And, um, you know, so started preparing for that and just kind of doubled down on, on all the uh, advertisement and, you know, kind of kept on pushing from there. So yeah, let's get into all the numbers. first few bookings uh, there was a lot of experiences getting ghosted people contacting me you know me researching the venues talking to them uh, and you know them never getting back to me so got really used to that feeling but there was there was a lot of chats I got better at I started getting better at asking questions of course started with uh, Alan Berg's teachings and started looking into his his podcast and you know took questions and some of his email uh, subject lines you know directly from him um, and you know I worked with Wedding Pro. Wedding Pro honestly was really good at like helping me. You know I was able to get on the call with them a, a couple times. They were they able to go through my copy for me. They they uh, updated some of the names on the um, pictures that I was uploading. They were rearranging them, trying to put what they thought were the best ones, the, the best converting ones to the top. So that was a big help from them. Um, so yeah, let's let's actually see how the results uh, panned out. So I have all my bookings here starting on uh, project day of 10-8, uh, 2023. So this was the first one, came in through Wedding Wire. Uh, and so this is how much, you know, each gig uh, I'm actually charging for. And here's actually the different breakdown of the different places I advertise on. So Wedding Wire and The Knot, which combined is Wedding Pro, uh, total paid 3048. That was a total for my year that was split up over 12 uh, monthly payments. And so far from them, I've made back 12,435. So four times my money. The Bash, I spent 185. I've made 6.7 times my money, 1,002. 140. The bark I put in $526 and have uh, grossed back 4603 So you can see uh, with some work, a lot of these places, even though you know maybe for the long term they might not be the best, uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But definitely getting started, getting out there, it's helped me out tremendously. You know, I was able to not only double, triple my money, sometimes even five, six, seven times the money I spent on the advertising. So you know, at the end of the day, uh, it was worth it. Um, I started generating some reviews, getting my own pictures now, now that I had some of these projects that I was doing, uh, and I was able to just continue to reinvest and compound it. Now I updated my own photos and own videos. You know, I started the YouTube and started putting up all the vlogs of, of each of the weddings, and that was huge. When I was able to actually send the videos, you know, many couples have told me that, you know, the videos have helped to, to really seal the deal because not a lot of DJs have it, you know, to be honest. Not, uh, in the videos that they do have, it's maybe just kind of clips or highlights here, but, you know, to see the full production that I'm actually, and the effort that I'm actually putting in, um, it just it just went that, that further. So it all started compounding on itself, uh, started working on my Google business profile, ended up getting a lead in from Google. Yelp gave me those free referrals, I set up my Yelp profile. Um, and got a lead in from Yelp for free. 
Uh, and then I started getting vendor referrals. Uh, so I got a couple of vendor referrals. I was able to get on my first, uh, my very first. So really it was back in October or something like that, uh, or November, I believe, where, um, you know, was the first event where, so it was only like maybe like a month or two to get that actual, I'm on a, a vendor list, you know, um, and my second one was shortly after that as well. So two or three months, I was already on a couple vendor lists. I already had my, my reviews going, my own photos going, and that was just all compounding on itself. Um, so you can see at the bottom, uh, you know, I ended up putting a little bit more into event uh, detective. I was I was able to get one booking, but long story about that booking I can share in maybe a different video. Um, and here's the total. So total I've paid on advertising so far in the first six months, 3,878. Gross income, $22,846. Um, and here's, here's profit, $18,968. And of course that's uh, just, that's not actual net profit. That is just, minus the advertising costs. Um, so still, you know, almost six times the money that I spent on advertisement, I was able to generate back. So uh, the goal is to continue to do that. You know, keep looking for other uh, places that I want to advertise on. Uh, there's uh, Fash, Style Me, uh, Pretty, Gig Salad. Uh, Gig Salad actually gave me a lot of free referrals so far, um, but I haven't actually been able to lock any in. But with the amount of free referrals that I do get from them and actually like leads that I can reach out to, uh, it might be worth a shot. That might be my, one of my next ones. Uh, Wedding Realm is a good one. Thumbtack, I wasn't a fan of. Their leads are just so expensive. Fash, Zola, and of course, you know, free advertising. Um, trying to get into more groups on Facebook. That's kind of my next grind right now because, you know, I've been doing a lot of paid advertisement, but free advertising is, is the other side of the coin, right? So I'm trying to get onto the free advertising and probably will pick up another one of those other advertisements event eventually to you know try it out and add it onto the list as well. Uh, definitely gonna continue with Bark. Uh, gonna continue with Wedding Pro. We'll see how the next you know contract goes once my contract is up and they quote me for the next month or the next year and I see my monthly costs. We'll, we'll see how, how good they treat me at that point. So um, here's the breakdown per day. So Wednesday, I did get one booking on Wednesday. Uh, for a wedding that was a $600 wedding. I thought that was pretty fair for a Wednesday. It was like a, a you know home wedding uh, It was really good good family though um, Here's my Friday Saturday Sunday costs. So I've had five bookings uh, on Friday so far over the past six months uh, averaging out $890 16 bookings on a Saturday 826 is the average per booking there. So definitely a little bit lower than the goal My goal is uh, to be around a thousand. That's that's how I can keep myself in business keep everything profitable You know again, you know, especially if there's any any clients that might be looking at this stuff you know you can kind of see what goes into the cost like you know I'm, uh, we, we, there's a lot of other things that go into the price right it's not just all profit um, so Sunday actually my most uh, best day for average cost but I haven't had too many bookings on there only about four for the Sunday so keeping my Saturdays busy and um, cost per booking so how much does it cost if I were to you know average out all of the amount of advertising money so for every client that i booked it's cost about 149 dollars in advertising costs so that's that's about you know what i i can expect every time i book someone um it's going to be about that 149 and hopefully over time i can hopefully get better at the advertising and that cost per booking will go down um here's kind of a breakdown of the different payments that I made on Bark. So I started off at only 112 bucks. Uh, you know, I've, I haven't paid more than 150. I usually wait for the half off subscription packs and they usually have been about once every month, every six weeks, they'll send one out. So that's usually when I'll jump on the half off and you know, it ends up being about a dollar per credit, which is something about like eight bucks, nine bucks per uh, lead that I reach out to. And I can make a, a more in-depth video if you guys like. Let me know what you guys maybe want to see more of. Maybe more of the breakdown of the numbers. More of the breakdown on how I approach the leads. Maybe how I made the website. Made uh, the proposals. The, you know how I used HoneyBook. Any of that stuff. You know, let me know what you guys would want to see. Here's a breakdown of the profit made. So. You 
you know, Wedding Pro is about half the profit that I made after uh, ad dollars spent, but they've also been almost 80% of the ad dollars that I've spent. So, you know, that's that's where Wedding Pro kind of really gets its slack from. It's, it's, it's expensive. And, you know, they gave me the first year deal. Like, I'm not, uh, you know, naive to that. Like, they want to give you a good price on that first year to get you hooked. And so, you know, come next year, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. You know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if this is all helpful for you guys. And, um, you know, stay, stay tuned with me as, as we rock out and, you know, try to grow this business. You know, I'm, I'm definitely going to do my best to stick with Wedding Pro, but we'll see what the cost is at the end of my contract with them. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's the breakdown of everything, guys. I really hope, um, you know, that helped, uh, you know, definitely it's been worth it. Um, you know, the goal is to do about 50 events and average about 1k um, per event and do that in a year. So right about there. But right now we're at about 26 events. Um, yeah, 26 events in the first six months. Um, my average is a little bit lower than I need to be to, to continue to stay profitable and, and pay all my bills and stuff. I would definitely want to be at about that $1,000 mark. Um, it seems, you know, we're falling a little bit short of that here. But, you know, as, as everything continues to compound, as my advertising get, gets better, as I get better, as the videos get better, you know, it's, it's all going to hopefully grow, you know. So I'm going to continue to just push forward. I appreciate everyone's support out there, too. You know, leave a comment if you got any advice for me, any encouragement. Uh, if this was helpful, definitely let me know as well. And I um, appreciate you guys rocking with me. And I'll catch you guys on the next uh, gig log.